CEGR stands for Cooled Exhaust Gas Recirculation and is a further development of the EGR technology developed in the USA in the 1970s and which many of us recognize from the EGR valves of older cars. This technology is based on some of the exhaust gases being cooled down, mixed with intake air, and combusted again. Like this. And like this. When the exhaust gases are returned to the intake air a second time, the nitrogen oxides are reduced. However, the amount of particulates is not reduced in this combustion process. Instead, they are filtered out in the step following combustion with the aid of a special particulate filter. To prevent this filter from becoming blocked, it has to be regenerated, the accumulated soot burnt off, by adding diesel to the exhaust gases and heating the filter to 400 to 700 degrees Celsius. However, regeneration does not remove all particles. To completely clean the filter from particles, it must be cleaned by an authorized service provider. On the other hand, CEGR technology does not reduce fuel consumption because some of the exhaust gases are reused in the combustion process, which results in inefficient combustion. To summarize, the advantages of CEGR fulfills all requirements for nitrogen oxide and particulate reduction in accordance with Stage 3B Tier 4 interim, no DEF required. The disadvantages of CEGR Requires particulate filter Filter cleaned by heating To remove 100% of the particles, eventually the filter must be cleaned by an authorized service provider. Technology increases cooling capacity needs Does not reduce fuel consumption Increased sensitivity to lower quality diesel